Some of my clients are interested in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies right now, and they've asked me what, what I think about it. Uh, so I thought I'd make a video sharing with you my thoughts, my current thoughts about the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency situation. Uh, cryptocurrencies are a, a sort of a digital alternative currency that uh, people are, are betting on, essentially, to become a means of exchange um, in the future. Uh, but right now, the reality is that I can't pay my mortgage with Bitcoin, even though it's really popular right now. I can't go to my local grocery store and buy food with Bitcoin. Uh, I can't hire most service providers that I, that I want, and, whose services I want and need using Bitcoin. You can't hire me using Bitcoin, right? So in other words, right now, it's not really a means of exchange um, that is widespread. And I believe in alternative and complementary currencies. I think it's a healthy thing for, uh, for, for, uh, for our world to have more forms of exchange. But right now, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies or altcoins are essentially, they are a gamble right now. They are a speculative investment, speculation. It's not really investment because most of the people who are doing it don't really understand it. For example, right now, Bitcoin is at $17,000 per coin, and even some of the experts don't understand why the price is so high. There's a lot of misunderstanding. I mean, there's a lot of sort of, um, even though it's supposed to be transparent, a lot of people are just baffled uh, about how it really works in the, in the real world, the price up, you know, up and down and things like that. So that's one concern I have is that we don't know if it's gonna become a widespread means of exchange, and so those who are investing it May, may lose them they may lose their money right um, the way that it's going with the price hikes and drops right now uh, mostly price hikes with Bitcoin for example is that people people some people think it's, it's it's a bubble I don't know if it is or not but the fact that it might be a bubble means that it could it could burst at any time we don't know when that's the problem and it could hurt a lot of people and usually in situations like this where a price of something goes up dramatically in a short time it it's almost always a bubble uh, and there's a lot of excitement and even like uh, some so-called credible people are getting on board well guess what so same thing with the dot-com same thing with the mortgage crisis a lot of credible people were getting on board with all of those same thing with any bubble in history a lot of credible people and leaders seem to be getting on board and then everybody a lot most people lose money inc including the leaders uh, that we thought were credible okay so so that's the practical case where I think it's, it's dangerous right now. We don't know if it's going to be a means of exchange. We don't know yet, okay? Uh, yes, some people are saying, yeah, but some people are, are, are able to buy things with Bitcoin. Well, still, try to pay your mortgage with Bitcoin. Try to, you know, buy food. You, most people can't do that. It's just, it's not practical on a wide level yet. Okay, now, no, people say, well, yes, but I'm investing in the possible future where it can be a means of exchange. But really, what's going on with this um, motivation is that people are trying, maybe they're, maybe they're desperate about money. And unfortunately, in the cases like this, a lot of people who are desperate about money get swept up into this kind of uh, scheme and end up losing money. So let me tell you a imaginary story so let's imagine a community of people and some of the people are farmers some of the people are chefs so these people grow and 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 cook food that others need and want okay some people are are builders so they build homes they build schools they build furniture that that people need and want okay noble worthwhile ways of earning an income some people are teachers some people are healers. They're doing things that people truly are, are truly adding value, bringing a more life-giving world into existence. And then there's a group of people here on the side who are playing a money game. Let's say there were 100 people playing a money game. They're, they're spending their days, their, hard, their, their precious life resources, their precious lifetime, their pre let's just call it a day. They're spending that day playing the money game. So they're, during that day, they're not cooking, they're not farming, they're not building things people want and need, they're not healing or teaching, they're playing the money game. That's what they're spending their time and energy doing. And out of these 100 people playing the money game, two of those 100 become, well, filthy rich. 
right? They earn tons of money while most of the people, 98 of those 100 people either didn't win any money and they simply lost their day, lost the, the time and energy of that day, or they even lost a lot of money. Some of them even lost their life savings. This is what happens with most money um, sort of hype and mania that's going on right now, like with the cryptocurrencies. It is a money game. It is not yet certain whether it will be a widespread means of exchange. It's not yet certain whether it's a bubble. And people are, 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 have this fantasy and this mania, this jumping on the bandwagon. I don't want to miss out. The fear of missing out. Whenever you are acting from the fear of missing out, it is almost always not a good idea for your soul and for your long-term well-being and for your mental health. Okay, so, um, and what happens is these two people who play the money game in this community who win all, you know, a disproportionate amount of money. They didn't really add value to the community. They simply played this game that allowed them to now have accumulated a lot of money or power essentially over the community and now they own most of the community. And so this is what happens. Some people are getting filthy rich with Bitcoin right now and now they're able to own a lot of things because they played the money game. They've achieved a lot of wealth without much real work adding value, life, bringing a life-giving world into, into existence. They simply were cunning enough um, or they were lucky enough to have earned a disproportionate amount of security and prestige and privilege for themselves. And so I just don't think that it's something that, you know, um, is worth modeling for the children, right? It's like, oh, this is how you should earn money is by playing a money game rather than, you know, bringing a life-giving world into existence by you know doing valuable things like farming or cooking or or building things or healing healing or teaching or things like that you see that's what i hope to inspire all of us to do is to do to earn money in a way that we feel is truly worthwhile it is a worthwhile use of our day and our of our life rather than spending all this time and attention our precious and uh, time that we cannot get back uh, with learning about this money game stuff. Let's spend our precious time and attention building useful skills that are truly valuable to others and that truly manifest and bring forth a world that, that where everyone can thrive and not just the few who happen to get lucky or were cunning enough, you see? And, and so that's the last thing I'll say is that if you're, if you're fearful of your security, your future security, um, you know, your children's future security, there's one investment that will never go away. And as I said before, it's the investment in building your useful, your skills that are useful to others. And it's building meaningful relationships with others. So for example, I'll, I'll say that I am one of the, the teachers in this community, in this illusory uh, community that I've, this, the story I've told. I'm one of the teachers, let's say. And if I build meaningful relationships in this community, even if there are a few people who get fabulously wealthy, if I have good relationships, right, whoever has good relationships will always be able to sustain themselves and their family in a community. And so that is what I hope we can all spend our precious life energy building is skills that are useful to others and meaningful relationships of true um, reciprocity and, and generosity. So I, I'll have a lot more to say about cryptocurrencies, etc. If you look at the notes of this video, I, I did some research on this stuff and, and why I'm not personally wanting to invest in it and why I don't recommend it. Uh, so you might want to take a look at the notes of the video for a lot more, but hopefully this uh, video will give you some inspiration and to not have to give into the fear of missing out uh, about the whole Bitcoin craze. I don't fear because I'm spending my precious time building skills that are useful to others and building meaningful relationships with others. Um, so uh, anyway, that's all for now and I truly wish you well.